Hey there, Service Pros. This is Christian from Workies. In this video, we're going to talk about how to streamline your commissions in Workies using Performance Pay. Performance Pay is our easy to use tool to help you incentivize and reward your team based on their performance. With Performance Pay, you can set up custom commission rules that reward your team for things like upselling on jobs, being assigned to jobs, and even creating jobs. It's all about rewarding your team for their hard work. Let's show you how it works. To get started, we'll want to enable the add-on from the Feature Center up here. After that, you'll get access to a new page from the Settings menu. This is where you can create and manage all of your commission rules. Let's quickly show you how to create a new one. Start by giving your rule a name. Make it something you'll easily recognize later, especially if you plan on setting up multiple rules. Next, let's choose what triggers the rule. Basically, this is what needs to happen for Workies to automatically calculate the commission. You'll have three options, done by, sold by, and created by. You'll use done by when you want to reward the technicians who were assigned to the job. You'll use created by when you want to reward the team members who created the job, simple enough. You'll use sold by when you want to reward the team members who added specific line items to a job. When adding items in Workies, you'll notice that each item has a sold by field. It automatically defaults to the user who added the item, but can easily be changed on the fly. That way, you can incentivize members of your team to take advantage of upsell opportunities. Okay, after choosing our trigger event, you can start adding conditions to fine tune the rule. If you've built automation rules in Workies before, this should all be pretty familiar. We'll just choose our property type and then select the specific property. I know that probably sounds like tech speak, but here's an example. You might only want this rule to trigger if the ad source is Google or Yelp. Easy, right? If you want a deeper look into conditions, check out the link in the description below. Okay, after adding our conditions, it's time to define the commission rate. You can choose between a flat dollar amount or a percentage of something job related, like the job profit, job total, or paid amount. The options you see here depend on the trigger event you chose earlier. Meaning, if you chose sold by, the options change from job related values to item related values, like item profit and item total. Super customizable to fit your exact needs. You'll also have the option to allow split commissions, which is handy if you have multiple techs working the same job. You can automatically split the commission evenly between those techs. This option is only available if your trigger event is set to done by. Okay, now to this part down here. Before creating your rule, you'll have the option of previewing what this rule might look like. It'll give you a comprehensive breakdown of an example job, including the line items, job related values like the subtotal and total, and a calculation at the bottom that you can easily understand. If it all looks good, we'll just create our rule. Last thing we've got to do here is add all the users that we want to assign to this rule. Basically, who should be affected by it. Once this is done, you should be all good to go. Okay, now let's see our commission rule in action. We'll just create a new job and add some line items. You can scroll down a bit from the items tab and see a preview of the commissions that will be created from this job. If you want to make it official, just pay off the balance and mark the job as done in order to calculate the commission. Notice that after closing the job, you'll have the option of manually editing the commission payment. This overrides the relevant commission rule for this job without actually changing the rule that we saved earlier. Just a one-time thing. You can review commissions for specific jobs from this section on any applicable job page. But if you want the bigger picture, we'll have to head over to the performance pay report. This report breaks things down by team members, the number of jobs they worked on, and their total commissions for a specific time period. You can click on any user to see more details about their jobs and earnings. There's even a button to give you a clear breakdown of how their commissions were calculated. Fully transparent and super simple. And that's it. That's how you can use performance pay to reward your team, keep them motivated, and drive more success for your business. When your team feels value, they perform better. And that's how your business grows. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for all the latest on how Workies can help your business grow. Thanks for watching.